Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Why narcissists steal your identity? The narcissist may seem very egotistical and as though they're completely in love with their own reflection to where they will present themselves as arrogant and grandiose, but they're actually extremely insecure because beneath this facade is a very fragile ego and a fragmented sense of self. Many people believe that narcissists target people who lack confidence and self-esteem. But this is actually not true. They are drawn to confident people. People who are self-assured and appreciate their own abilities and qualities. People who are reliable and trustworthy. People who believe in themselves and feel certain about the truth of something. Because it's that self-confidence that tells the narcissist that this person is going to be able to accomplish what they want them to do. Which is why falling for narcissists actually has nothing to do with a lack of intelligence. It doesn't mean you're stupid or uneducated or that you're not independent. In fact, Narcissists prefer to target educated people, people who are not dependent on another for their livelihood or substance. Because if you're able to take care of yourself, it tells them that you will be able to take care of them. Which is why the happier and more successful you are, the more likely it will be that you will run into narcissists because that's what they're missing. So it's what they're searching for in a potential target. But when you meet a narcissist, they will display excessive confidence in their own abilities and character, which is actually just a wall to protect them from acknowledging their own insecurity and lack of self-confidence. And it can be very confusing. Because you may wonder why they would be attracted to someone so powerful and strong when at their core they feel inferior and inadequate. But it's because they feel entitled to your life. They see that you are a strong and confident person and they instantly feel attracted to you. Because maybe you have a successful career, financial independence, a beautiful home or a strong support network. And all of these things arouse intense desire in the narcissist. They yearn to possess and have it. They want to make it their own. Because they have unmet emotional needs from childhood. They didn't have a consistent parental figure or role model in their childhood or adulthood. So when they see you assume control and responsibility of your life and you manage it effectively despite the cards that you were dealt and you continue to do the best with what you've got, they envy that quality and they decide to have that confidence for themselves. They believe that if they can assume control of you and start a relationship with you, it proves to themselves that they are the same as you. If they can get your attention and charm you, it provides them with a sense of being on your level. They feel entitled to be with someone who is successful and independent, even though they're not successful or independent. They feel that they have a right to do and have what they want without having to work for it or deserve it. And they will put you down and gaslight you even while they're not even your equal. And in fact, they're not even a fraction of your worth because they're dishonest and fair and badly behaved. 
and they may not even have any resources of their own, and yet they believe that you owe them a living, because in their minds they are superior. They're highly capable, skilled and experienced, and they're far more talented than the average person, even though you will never actually see any of this manifest into reality. But if they can think it in their minds, then to them it must be real. And that's what they use to rationalize their manipulative behavior, which is why they typically won't target someone who is insecure, because it won't give them that sense of superiority that they get from conquering a strong and confident person. When you first meet the narcissist, they will act however you want them to act, and they will do whatever you want them to do. But that's only until they've gained your trust. And then they will tear you down so that they can continue to feel superior. Because by that point, you're emotionally and financially invested in them. So they will assume you're not going anywhere. And instead, they will expect you to be holding on to their lies and future faking. Because they invested all of their attention into you. So you might assume that it means something. When in fact, they mirrored you. They mimicked your feelings, interests, behaviors to create a false sense of connection. While the entire time, even though you were doing all of these things for them, they never saw you as their equal. They believe that they are in a higher social position than you and in a position of authority over you. And they took great pleasure in how they captured you and fooled you. But you won't see this side of them initially because they want to continue reaping the benefits and rewards as a result of being with you. But once you're deeply involved, they will then reveal their true self to you because that, by that point, they know that it's going to be difficult for you to escape. Many narcissists have nothing, and yet they want the world from you. They expect rewards without putting in any work because they're failures at life. They lack the abilities and skills to succeed in anything. So potentially, the greatest achievement in their lives was to secure you as their source of supply. And yet they likely pursued and pestered you about your work ethics, integrity, character and abilities when they couldn't even manage their own life. And they were so envious of yours that they wanted to take it and make it their own so that they could give the appearance that they are an honest, moral and respectable citizen in the local community. But beneath their psychotic delusions and their false sense of grandiosity, they're just a jealous, spoiled child. They hate your confidence in your own abilities and character. They hate your belief in yourself because they don't believe in themselves and they haven't accomplished anything substantial in their own life. So when they see you overcome, and being unaffected by negative situations, it makes them angry and resentful because they're very jealous. They hate to see you having anything, whether it's a good job, your own home, a business or people who support you. It just reminds them of everything they're not and everything that they're never going to be. So of course, they don't want you to be that because it's never going to be that way for them. And yet they feel entitled to it without having to go through the struggles and hardship that you had to go through. They expect everything to just be given to them on a plate because they're delusional. They believe they're special, superior, unique and invulnerable. So in their minds, if they want something, then it should be theirs. 
The narcissist never loved or admired you. They envied and despised you. And they wanted to steal your life. They wanted you to exist solely for their personal profit and pleasure. Because they're empty meat suits. They lack character, individuality, human feelings and qualities. So they wanted to hide behind your hard work, success and accomplishments. And act as though everything you have belongs to them. They created a false reality where all of the skills, qualities and traits that you've acquired and developed aren't even yours. They amplify your negative traits and assume that all of your money, your home and anything else that they desire belongs to them now. They destroy you because they want to be you. They were distracted by you and then drawn to you because they saw you as something worth pursuing. As something unusual, unique and outstanding. They come in as though there's something you had hoped for or worked hard towards achieving. When in reality, all they can think about is getting their grubby paws on what you have. So that they can pose as you in order to impress other people. Because they're exhibitionists, attention seekers and show offs. They love the attention. And they want all eyes to be on them. But that wouldn't occur naturally. Because they're very typically very dull and uninteresting. They lack the skills, qualities and traits to make anything happen on their own. And they have no inner sense of value. So they've got to steal bits and pieces of your identity. To get the attention and validation that they crave and need. Because at a young age, they accepted that who they are is not good enough. They abandoned their true self. And then they created a false self who is everything they wish they could be. Their false self is always changing and adapting to whoever they are around. They will mirror you and take on your qualities and traits as if they were their own to deceive other people and obtain narcissistic supply so that they can feel like they're worth something. Because if they were to be themselves, they wouldn't appeal to anyone. They wouldn't get the recognition they're looking for, so they wouldn't get the supply that they need, which is why they mimic you. They observe what you're doing and then they replicate it. But it's not what they're about. They're just imitating you to get the attention and admiration that you would normally receive. And by doing that, they've abandoned who they used to be just to become a second rate version of you. Because you're the real deal. You're the original. And your power comes from you being yourself while narcissists have no power because they're always being a second rate version of someone else. So now their survival depends on seeking attention and admiration from other people. And they may think that it's working for them. They may think they get more friends. They're improving their social position and they're getting more attention from the opposite sex. But none of those people really know who the narcissist is. Because narcissists don't know who they are. They've abandoned themselves to take on the qualities and traits of another person. So all they're getting is fake attention and fake admiration. Which just gets lost in the void with everything else because it's not connected to their true character and personality, which is why no matter what they obtain or receive, they're never satisfied, they're never happy, because they don't see any value in who they are. 
they believe they're not good enough. And that's why they wanted to steal your identity. Because they thought it would get them the attention and admiration they craved and needed. But even when they do that, no one's really admiring them. They're just admiring who they think they are. So it's all fake. Their entire life is a lie. Every relationship, job or social circle is built on a house of cards, which means that it could collapse at any moment because it isn't real or genuine. It's built on lies and fabrications, so it has no foundation because they just used a situation to get what they wanted for their own profit, pleasure or advantage which means that it won't produce long-term happiness or success because they're going to experience a lot of guilt and shame, not only from what they stole from you, but from every person they're fooling and deceiving because deep down they know that it isn't real or genuine. They know that it's built on lies and fabrications because to build something real, it has to be generated from within. Our worth has to come from within, which is why it's called self-worth. Because we have to believe in ourselves before anyone else can believe in us. We can learn from other people and be inspired by them, but we cannot be someone else. And by stealing another person's identity, it is the death of themselves, which is why they're like zombies. They're like the walking dead. They can't find happiness in anything. And it's like they have to feed off our flesh. They're dependent on us for their own survival. Because while God or a higher power put them on this earth to be who they are, they didn't want to accept it. They believed that their true selves were not good enough, so they leached off you. And they stole your identity. They essentially sold their souls in the pursuit of money or power, and for something that isn't even real. Because it's superficial, it has no underlying support or foundation which means that it will crack under pressure and it will never last because it's surface level. It lacks depth, meaning and substance. It's not very deep or involved. It's not something they really about. They didn't go through the trials and tribulations and the hard work and suffering to persevere and develop the skills, qualities and abilities associated with their false identity. Which means that it's all a lie. It's not who they really are. It's all fake. So all they can do is deceive people and make them believe in something that doesn't even exist. Which is never going to amount to anything because they're not you and they're never going to be you because they didn't go through the same experiences and situations that you went through to become the person that you are. They just woke up one day and decided to steal your identity, which means that it has no basis in reality. It's a work of fiction, a facade, so it will never withstand the storms of life. And it will only result in disaster in the end. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.